I'm your host, Atto Bolden. We are in Bydgoszcz, Poland. That's the site of the Under-20 World Championships in Athletics. And with me on the show today is Nicholas Kahl, who is on quite a roll. Last year at the World Youth Championships in Colombia, he got the gold in the decathlon and followed it up with a silver in the javelin. This year, all he's done is set the championship record in the decathlon and, of course, won the gold here. Nicholas, welcome to the show. I am a big fan of yours from last year at the World Youth Championships in Colombia because I remember you winning the decathlon and then coming back to get silver in the javelin and I went okay um, tell me about this championship that you've just finished here when you broke the championship record though you just seem like you got in a roll and you just started rattling off personal best after personal best after personal best tell me about walk me through those 10 events that you had here yeah, the, the, at uh, first, the 100 meters, uh, uh, the start wasn't good. Yeah. And uh, I'm not good in the 100 meters, <laughs> so it's, uh, it was not so good for me, but the, the time was okay. Uh, after that, uh, the long jump uh, was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't hit the board, so huh. I think uh, I could jump like 7 meters, but 6.79 is, is still good for me. Yeah. Uh, then was uh, the first uh, bad discipline for me, uh, the, the shot put. 1480 is okay, but uh, for me it was, it was not so good yeah. because my uh, PR is uh, 1548. And uh, after that, uh, the high jump was really good, cleared uh, 210. Uh, only had uh, one, uh, one uh, miss. miss at... Yeah. To a one, I think, and uh, it was uh, the best high jump competition I, I've had in my life. And uh, the 400 meter, it's, uh, the last event in the first uh, the first day. First time under 50, right? No, no, I ran uh, 49.85 in the qualification. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, 49.69 uh, was a personal best for me, and uh, it was really hard to run. But uh, I'm so happy. And then uh, the next day is my start uh, in the second day of the decathlon was okay. 14.72 in the hurdles uh, was okay for me in the qualification I had 14.71 so that's okay. Uh, then the discus was uh, really bad for me, yeah. only 41.80 uh, I think. Uh, the first uh, one was uh, uh, the fall, uh, fall throw. And after that, after that, uh, I uh, need, need a good one, but I can't uh, <laughs> can't pr That's produce. That's sometimes, huh? Yeah, yeah. But uh, after that, uh, the last uh, three events were really good. Uh, personal best in the uh, pole vault, right. four meters eighty. Then a personal best in the javelin sh uh, javelin throw with uh, seventy one fifty nine uh, was really good. Wow. I uh, I thought I could throw like 70 meters but not so far <laughs> and uh, then a huge personal best in the uh, 1500 for 21 72 I think and uh, that was the best discipline for me I think. Now the decathlon is funny in that even with you setting a championship record you have these events which by your own admission oh I didn't have a good day in that event but if you win you started the decathlon over again next week then that one other event becomes good, and then the other one you fall off on. Tell me a little bit about the mindset when you have to get through 10 events. When one does not go well, how do you move? You have to have a short memory because you have to move to the next one and say, you know what, I can't control what I just did. All I can do is worry about what I have in front of me. Yes, uh, you have to concentrate on uh, every discipline. And uh, when you, when you uh, are not good in one discipline, you, uh, you don't think so much about that right. and move on to the next one uh, because when you think of the last discipline where you don't score like uh, you want to, right. then um, you are not good in the, in the next one too. So you have to, have to concentrate on the next one and uh, forget the last one. So you're on a nice little roll right now. You're world youth champion, world junior champion. I know you got a chance to, um, to train this year with Ashton Eaton. 
up in Portland. And for me, that's like, if you're a singer, that's like getting to train with Michael Jackson. What did you get out of that trip, being able to compete with the guy who has the world record in your event? It was a great experience for me. Yeah. And uh, I can learn so much uh, about, uh, from Ashton, how uh, you train before a big competition mm -hmm. and uh, relaxing be before uh, uh, competition like uh, the World Championships and that helped me uh, to produce uh, so uh, this score in, in Bitcoin here. Now, you talked about your 100 not being one of your better events. Ashton is one of the very best in the world at it, obviously. Um, what are the events that you watch Ashton do and you just kind of shake your head like, I don't know if I'll ever be that good. Is it only the 100? What else? No, uh, the long jump. Long I think. jump, yeah, he's a good, great, and, great long jumper. And the 400. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible in the 400 meters. So, yeah. um, I remember being in Berlin for the uh, the World Championships in 2009. Germany has some of the best athletics fans in the world. Um, when you grow up in a country like Germany, what are the sports that you get pulled in the direction of? Probably soccer. Yes. But for you, is there anything else that you maybe were going off in the direction of and then you got pulled back into athletics? Yeah, uh, I played uh, handball for okay. 10 years. Right. Uh, and um, it, uh, it was so much fun. But uh, with 15 years, I decided to, uh, to do uh, only, the, uh, only athletics. Now, is it because that you are a good handball player why you're such a good javelin thrower? Yes, uh, yes <laughs> I think so. Many, many handball uh, Many good javelin throws, uh, played handball for some years. So when you look into your future now, what are the things that you want to accomplish? Your World Youth Champion already, World Junior Champion, those are two really, really big titles. What are the things that you want to accomplish? Do, are you, do you look in the distance and you say, you know what, I think I'm good enough to break Ashton Eaton's world record? No, I, I don't think so. Really? Because uh, most athletes would say, especially a year young man, they would say, yes, I think I can get it. Why don't you think that you can break the world record? No, I uh, I think I have to progress from uh, uh, every year to the next year, right. and uh, then we will see how much points I, I can score. Uh, points I can score, but uh, I want to score next year like 8,200 or 8,300 points in the junior with the junior weights, and uh, then we will see in the senior class uh, how many points I can score. Now, what about your attempts in the javelin? Are you going to pursue the javelin as well, individually? Or from now on, are we only going to see you in the decathlon? I don't know. I, I think um, I do uh, the javelin yeah. if, it, uh, if it goes well the, the next years. And uh, then we will see uh, if I do javelin uh, or, or only the decathlon. Now, tell me a little bit about what are the things that interest you when you're not uh, competing or training? What are the things that, if we, if, we had a, if we had a little spy camera on your home, what are the things that you're doing when you're at home? I, I sleep. Uh, <laughs> so like all track athletes, you like to sleep? <laughs> yes, I, I, <laughs> in my free time, I, I sleep uh, very much time, but, uh, yeah. but uh, meet friends and uh, things uh, every, every guy in my, my age do. So normal things. Let's talk a little bit about Germany and the decathlon and sort of your role in what has been a typically a, a pretty good, a pretty strong athletics team. Are you feeling pressure yet that you have to sort of be one of the ones who will lead the German team in future Olympics, in future world championships? Because what happens in a country is the ones who show promise as juniors, they get all the pressure to keep going. Because it's one thing to be junior champion, it's one thing to be youth champion. People go, okay, how soon before you can be world champion? I, I don't feel... Do you feel uh, pressure? No, I, I don't feel so much pressure. Uh, I concentrate on, on my own. And uh, when, when I'm good in a competition, that, that's really good. Uh, but I don't think... Uh, when I'm when I'm bad in a competition, uh, all the the others uh, now think I'm I'm not uh, as good as uh, they expected it. Right. Because it's it's me and I uh, must be and it must be good for me. Now being able to to be going to all of these meets and traveling the world, what's the thing that 
for somebody out there who is thinking about, hey, you know, maybe I want to be in athletics. What's the best thing about being able to travel to all of these meets? It's to uh, meet meet new uh, new guys and and friends and uh, every time you go to uh, something like the uh, world world championship, mm -hmm. you uh, meet uh, guys you met uh, last year and right. you can compete with them and that's so much fun. Yeah. Well, listen. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks. You have had a fantastic 2015 and a 2016. All the best for the future. Thank you.